Peter posted a, you know, about this kinematic sequence in golf, and he asked me if I, you know, approve of that or, you know, I don't know. So two years ago, these guys who runs the website and service of the kinematic sequence, expert breaks down Tiger Woods post injury master's swing. So two years ago. And this guy is saying that when Tiger pushes down into the ground, the ground pushes up and he does this gesture, right? When I saw that, I was thinking, okay, well, that's not possible. Physics and reality doesn't work that way. When you compress something, do the whatever is compressing, you want to return to the original state. Absolutely. I won't dispute that. If you have a tennis ball or a rubber ball or a golf ball and you compress it, it wants to return to its original state. If it press, compresses very, very much, very fast, it wants to do that. That's a golf ball, right? So the golf ball goes from being a round golf ball to a little bit like a, you know, a rugby ball or something like that, American football. It goes really like that because it goes comp compress and then doing that. But you have a scientific educated guy, sports medicine, or a SIPA, SIPA, I have no idea how to pronounce that, sorry. And this is 100% wrong. And it's been on YouTube for two years, and apparently 639,090 people have visited and seen that, maybe someone has seen it twice, but let's say a half a million people I watched that and no one apparently has pointed it out. If you go down the comment section, and I bet some people who have a physics degree, maybe even watching it, then they don't catch that. So when I saw that, I was okay, the rest of the video, I don't need to watch that because, you know, horrible, right? because they don't understand what they're talking about. So these are people teaching the kinematic sequence. They have a website, they have a server, and they don't know what they're talking about. That's called magical thinking. Magical thinking is that you say things that seems like a kinematic sequence. Wow, what's, what's that? Well, the ground pushes back. It does, oh wow, that's amazing. Until you start to ask yourself a question, does it really? I don't think so. Is there some force coming back when the object compresses wants to go back? Is there some force there? Absolutely. But how much is that force into the ground? And if you think about it, you will press down into the ground even to the impact position. And then you will move up from the ground because a lot of if you look at a lot of those two pro golfers, they are actually off the ground when they actually hit the ball. So the ground has not been able to push back yet because they are already in the air with the foot. So the ground can't push back. But I mean, they charge people money for that shit, I guess, and people buy it and thinking they get good stuff. So yeah, they got it wrong, badly. It's really retarded, really, but actually, you know, you can't say things like that because here's what's going to happen when I post my material at some point. People are going to try to, you know, rip me apart. That's what people do in the golf. It's not going to change the golf instruction world immediately. That's not how it works. But once a true pro get a hold of my material, they're going to test it. And they're going to go, you know, there's something here. Then they're going to get in contact with me. Then they're going to say, can you help me swing like this? Absolutely. Didn't you watch the video? I'll say, yeah, but you know, I want personal audience. Yeah, okay, I can do a lot of other shit also that I won't post, I won't release, about padding and other things. Um, a lot of people believe I'm, you know, doing this to make, you know, products or, you know, services. No, I'm not interested in golf at all. I'm interested in elite level performance. <laughs> You know, uh, elite level performance, they spend a lot of time to get better. And uh, since what people teach them in modern golf today, and you know, 
mentally is probably <laughs> psychology is stupid also. Um, they tried that stuff and it doesn't really work. So they try to find something that actually works. And it takes a long time before they get to the point that they need to seek out something that actually works. You see that with some of the two pros, they're seeking different swing systems because they believe it's a golf swing that will help them like a lot of them, Mike Weir, you know, Luke Donald, Jordan Spite, even Tiger Woods, right? They believe that the golf swing will help them, uh, but they go to people who don't understand what they're talking about and teaching. So they are taught basically worthless shit. There's no better way to describe it. A golf instructor in our, as a member here, used my takeaway, the Benny Hill takeaway, yeah, I applied it to a two pro level, 18 year old who wants to be a two pro, and he had over 30 yards with his eight iron. So he hits his eight iron and 30 yards longer with my takeaway. And I wouldn't be surprised he can hit it over 50 yards longer when I do everything, when he's, you know, get the rest of the information. That's with an eight iron. You can hit an eight iron 50 yards longer by understanding how you're supposed to move your body for the first time in the golf history. After 400 years, no one figured this out, how this actually works. And I talked to Hans about a couple of things about the release, and he confirmed that. I, I'm still improving things. And he confirmed that, and he never thought about it much. And I said, you know, about the releases like this, and he's like, yeah, yeah. yeah. And I can then correlate that to an added instruction, maybe. I, I don't know what I do with that, I don't know. I also, you know, made a video for the tester uh, yesterday evening. And he's supposed to start hitting pitch shots now, short pitch shots in the backyard. He can't really play golf, you know, because the coronavirus is putting things down in, in the ground. But I made a video for him, and Hans, I sent it to Hans also, and he watched it, and I was in, you have any input of this, and he said, oh, that's what I do. It is, I said, oh, yeah, it's what I do. This is what I feel, and what I do, you know. And he could confirm the relate, so it's, you know, it's not guess. I'm not doing guesswork, right? So, because people will try to tear me apart when I release my information, people will go at me with everything they have. They will try to make, fuck me up. Because they believe what the teaching works. And it doesn't. And I can disprove them all. You know, when you do science, real science, you actually know what they're talking about. We have this inventor in Sweden called Håkan Lanz. He uh, invented the mouse, the mouse you use for your, you know, your computer. He invented that. He didn't patent it. If he had done that, he would have made even more money than he did. He, however, patented the color of your screen. So the screen you watching this on, he invented, he patented. It. He made so much money. The Swedish uh, tax government had to visit him, you know, because you know. He got so much money from, you know, or you're a criminal, you know. No, I'm an inventor. And not a lot of people haven't heard about him. Now, Hoka Lance at age 16, this is when he was 16 years old, he built a submarine and it was fully functional. He actually went and, you know, and he was in magazines and uh, the Naval Marine that has a base close to that, I have to visit him and, you know, check it out because, you know, are you a spy? Now I'm 16 years old and built a submarine. What it? Well, let's do it. And recently he invented uh, a safe way to, for airplane to know where they are in space. A patent that also. It's not implemented for airplanes anymore. It's implemented for boats and such. But it's a very cheap system versus everything else. But American corporations is trying to shut him down because American corporations are not your best friend. They hate us. They hate the customer. They hate the workers. Um, the Swedish government actually made okay to, you know, put Amazon factory in Sweden, which was the, the stupid. They fucking lied to them. So then they bought that lies, obviously. Amazon is not our friend. Either the customer or the workers, sadly. That's American corporations. Retarded, if you ask me. But this is, you know, the wall out there. The people have assumed that this must make sense, but it's called magical thinking. That's what concepts and guesswork leads to, that the ground pushes out. 
and no one of the two years had cashed that, apparently. And all these questions are, wait a minute, is that really happening? It can happen. I don't dispute, as I said, that the ground will want to go back if you press down on the ground that it will return to its original state. But is that force enough to translate into the cloud there? I would say no. It's not what happens. So you got that wrong. So when the expert is explaining Tiger Woods' pulse swing, they have no idea what they're talking about. So then they are not really experts. Because the golf digest did the one thing wrong, they didn't ask me. Because if they asked me, I could explain it before what Butch Orman did, what Hank Haney did, what Sean Fuller did, what Chris Comer did. And I said, none of them could fix this and do it that this way because they don't know. They don't have no idea. Kind of weird, right? And the thing with Hawk and Lance that he, when he invented the current system for tracking airplanes in space, he had the idea ten, for 10 years. He knew how to do it for 10 years. He didn't patent it. Patent uh, lasts, I don't know, 10, 15, 25 years, something like that. And if you patent it too early, it means that it will run out before there's a product. So he had to wait 10 years before they made the product. And then he patented it. And he ran the risk that someone else would figure it out also. They couldn't. Until he made the patent and he made a press conference and explained it, and then when I say explain it, people in the audience go, oh, of course. 